I'm uh, Dolipala Sriramurthy, representing Trend IT, and I'm popularly known as Srirama in IT industry. I am with Trends for the past nine years, and uh, my experience is 21 years. Started my career in 1991 with the uh, technologies like uh, GW Basic, World Star Lotus during those days, and uh, now uh, completely into the uh, Microsoft technologies like uh, .NET 4.0, Windows Presentation Foundation, Communication Foundation, Workflow Foundation, with uh, App Fabric, Cloud Computing, Silverlight 5. My uh, way of teaching is handling the best practices because I handle more than 45 design patterns, uh, including the Gang of Four, SOA service oriented architecture patterns, Prism, Ajax patterns. My uh, way of teaching is handling the best practices from induction level to senior manager level, and I have trained the companies like uh, Wipro, Verizon, Deloitte, Bank of America, almost I can say all MNCs have completed. Now I'm talking about Windows communication framework, which is a Microsoft technology. We know .NET 3.0 is nothing but the framework extension, which is called Windows framework extension, which is something like a layer over your CLR 2.0. In the Windows framework extension, Microsoft has released four important modules. Windows Presentation Foundation, which talks about rich user interface. Windows Communication Foundation, which talks about how do you develop distributed based communication applications, which takes care of interoperability, transactability, scalability, security, etc. And Workflow Foundation, that allows you to model your business process and expose even like a service. And uh, Cardspace allows us to uh, expose our uh, security in the form of digital authentication. Talking about the Windows Communication Foundation, what Microsoft says, it's a unified framework, yes. The framework which is available from the Microsoft, which allows us to develop .NET remoting-based technologies, web services, complex technologies, and MSMQ technologies. Everything is integrated in a unified framework. What we can do, we can very quickly develop our business applications. Quickly means what here, using attribute programming, we can specify the behavior, and we can take it to production server very quickly. And uh, main idea is, we want to confirm to the specifications of service-oriented architecture. And uh, when you talk about the Windows Communication Foundation, it is called contract-based programming, exchange the policies, and uh, we start always developing our application with the contracts. In WCF, we have service contract, we have data contract, message contract, and fault contract. Contracts are basically nothing but your interfaces, and it talks about how you exchange the messages between the client and server application. And uh, ABC, if you see the architecture, we have endpoint. Each and every WCF service is exposed like an endpoint. And the endpoint contains your address, where the service is running. B stands for the binding, where how you exchange your message. That means what kind of protocol we have to use, and how the message is to be exchanged, in what format, and how the serialization takes place. All these things are part of your binding. And the contract, which is nothing but encapsulates or abstracts your business, business logic by exposing service contract interfaces so that this interoperability be, can be achieved by implementing SOAP protocol with uh, Vistel, transfer web service description language. And uh, we create the service, we host it on endpoint, and we can also have multiple endpoints. And uh, we have to host it on applications like your Windows service, self-host, IIS, App Fabric, or your cloud so that various clients can consume your WCF services. Now I'm going to demonstrate a simple WCF service. Start Visual Studio 2010, go to WCF section. We have templates. In the templates, we can create a WCF service application. Uh, you can give some uh, name of the project. Let it be WCF service, and say OK. This will generate template code that allows you to quickly create the service contracts. And also built-in data contracts are there, which can be modified. And uh, we start with the service contract by defining the interface. And we have to specify all our prototypes here, which will be converted into Vistel when client makes a request by specifying the URL at the runtime. We have to go to Solution Explorer. We have to start with the service contract. So iService is nothing but the interface, which contains all the prototypes. So let us start our programming with iService. iService is nothing but the interface contract. Already we have some default get data and get data using data contract where we can write our actual prototypes. 
then we have to go to the service SVC, which is nothing but having the built-in implementation, but we have to modify this code as per our requirement. I can say service is ready. So we can host this service. Visual Studio is having a built-in IIS. That IIS allows you to temporarily host this service. So for that, you have to go to Solution Explorer and uh, right click on service1.svc. And when you see a view in browser, we are able to discover the service. When the service is ready, client can create the uh, application and generate the proxy. That can be done either using the SVC util or right click on add service reference and generate the proxy or via channel factories 